Hey, what's up everybody? Kevin Jordan here from the Green Acres Garden Podcast. I'm here with my new friend, Kevin Marini of the UC Extension to talk a little bit about fire safety landscape practices. Kevin, uh, actually he's gonna give us a, cra a crash course in the three zones of fire landscaping. So can you give us a little bit on that? Absolutely. So part of our Master Gardener program is to educate the public on good gardening practices, firewise landscaping be a, being a part of that. And so when it comes to looking at your property, you kind of want to divide it into these three zones. The, the, from your house to five feet out, it's a small little zone, but that's the most crucial zone. It's called the ember ignition zone. It's where embers can fly in, land, and catch your house on fire. So that zone needs to be looked at very carefully kept plant free ideally mulch free ideally basically have nothing that can catch fire if you're going to put something in that ember ignition zone make sure that you're you know spacing it properly and maintaining it properly from the five foot zone out to 30 feet your lean and clean zone that's where you really want to avoid um, making fire ladders where you have small plants, medium-sized plants, large plants together that could spread fire very quickly. So you want to space the plants apart. You don't want them touching each other or being too close to another. So they talk about planting in islands in that five to 30 foot zone. Beyond the 30 foot zone to the full 100 feet, you're still conscious of firewise landscaping, but you can add a little bit more diversity there, a little bit more variety, have some trees and shrubs. Again, the main thing is, is spacing the plants apart and maintaining them properly. There are more flammable plants and less flammable plants, but don't rely on that. Rely on proper spacing and good maintenance. Well, if you want to learn more from my new friend, Kevin Marini, please check out this week's episode of the Green Acres Garden Podcast. We'd love to have you there.